everyone. Welcome back to RJK English. Today we're going to focus on phrasal verbs and a little bit of vocabulary. So this is from one of my students uh, from Turkey. She was working on some of these phrasal verbs and I wanted to share them with you. This is a way to expand your vocabulary. By looking at these, you might not know what they mean until they're explained. So we're going to start with to break down. Okay, meaning along the lines of spoil or impair, to break down. To break down means a machine stops working because of some problem. So for instance, if I'm driving my car and suddenly the car stops and smoke is coming out of the, the hood of the car, you know, smoke is coming out, I would say my car broke down. It broke down. That's in the past. Or, um, I had a breakdown. So there it's being used as a noun. I had a breakdown. Um, you can also use breaking down psychologically. When you are so stressed for so long and you're not getting sleep, and finally you have a breakdown, meaning you can't function anymore. And you're just nerve. you're like this. This is called a breakdown. So let's say I needed to get to work and I couldn't get there on time because my car broke down. I might have a mental breakdown <laughs> because I'm so stressed. Yeah, so this is how we use breakdown. To call off. To call off literally means you're calling something off. In a movie you might see, let's use a wedding for example. Uh, the, the bride is at the wedding, she's ready, and suddenly the groom doesn't show up. Or the groom shows up and says, it's off. It's canceled. It means it's canceled. The groom has called off the wedding. I call it off. It's off. So this is what to call off means. It means to cancel. To come about and to take place. These are similar. They both can mean to happen but they mean it in a different way. To come about kind of means something developed to completion. So for instance, let's say my girlfriend breaks up with me. I'm married, I don't have a girlfriend, but let's say I have a girlfriend and my girlfriend breaks up with me. I might go, how did this come about? I mean, how did this happen? But what I mean is, how did it develop to this place where this happened? Did I yell at her a lot? Was I not thinking about her? Was I not taking care of her? Was I not talking? How did this come about? Many things happened and then finally she left. But to take place means that something happened at a particular point of time. It took place. The placement is at this particular time. So, oh, there was a crime yesterday. Oh, at what time did it take place? It took place in the evening. It took place last night. When did it happen exactly? It's when something exactly occurred for something to occur. To figure out, to find out, to make out, to work out. So these all mean to discover something or to learn something. To figure out is like when you're building a desk from Ikea and you're like, I don't know, I'm not following the instructions. I'll figure it out as I go. As I go, I figure it out. Oh, I don't know how to do this math problem. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out as I go. To find out is more to uncover something. So journalists find out information. The journalist found out that there was corruption in the government. It's to uncover something. To make out and work out is kind of to figure out and find out, you know, um, I can't make out why she left. I can't figure it out. I can't work out why she left. Okay, you have to be careful about make out and work out because to make out, when we say, oh, they were making out, this means to kiss deeply. <laughs> they were making out. Uh, to work out often means to exercise. But in this, I can't work it out. I can't make it out. I can't figure it out. You wouldn't say, I can't find out because that's to discover something or uncover it, you would do that maybe in the future or in the past. Um, so some last things. 
considerably versus considerately. Considerably just means a lot. I have considerably more money than that guy. He has considerably more cars than I do. He has five cars, I have one car. Considerately means to be thoughtful. Oh, he opened the door for me. That's very considerate. That's very thoughtful. That's very nice. So when you do something considerately, you do it, you do something nicely for someone else. Thinking about their thoughts and their needs. Notable or noteworthy means significant. Did anything notable happen yesterday? No, not really. It was a normal night. Oh yeah, something noteworthy happened yesterday. There was a robbery next door. So something that people would notice. It's noteworthy. And then deserving uh, means that um, you should get something. I am deserving of help from you because I'm your friend. I deserve it. I should get it. I, it's my right. I hope these are helpful. Talk to you later. Hi everyone, welcome to RJK English. Make sure to like and subscribe and that will help me make more of these videos. I'm on YouTube and on Instagram and see us on Facebook and we can talk further. Thank you.